Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a cook and clean with me. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am getting ready to start a slow roasted chicken, a whole chicken in the oven in my Dutch oven. But I've been wanting to try this recipe for a while, so we're gonna do it today. I also have a ton of housework that I need to get done. Basic pickup, clean up, wipe down, put away. That kind of stuff today is Friday, so I love going in to the weekend with a clean house. We have a busy weekend ahead of us with lots of plans, so I wanna make sure the house is nice and picked up and ready to go for the weekend so I don't have to worry about getting any cleaning or laundry or anything like that done over the weekend. I also wanted to mention this video is sponsored by Ritual, so thank you Ritual for sponsoring today's video. I have been taking these Ritual Vitamins for women. My sister actually takes these too, and I heard about these from her. So when Ritual reached out and asked if I wanted to work with them, it was a for sure yes, because I was super interested in trying these vitamins after all the research my sister did about them, and she told me about them. So I've been taking these for a little while now, and they're honestly, they're so cool looking. First of all, before I get into all the details about everything, to tell you guys, they smell really good too. They're minty, so they actually taste good when you swallow them with your water too, but look at how they look. They're so cool. This clear capsule, they have different kinds. Um, they have a prenatal and all different kinds, but this is the Essential for Women. Here, I'll show you the bottle up close. Um, I've taken a lot of different types of vitamins before, and these are honestly, I love that you only have to take these two. You don't have like a whole bunch of vitamins and they taste good. So let's take these real quick and I'll tell you all about them because I know you guys are going to be interested. So what is the point in taking vitamins? First of all, even if we have a really great diet, it's hard to hit all the key nutrients that you need in your everyday life. So Ritual is there to help you fill those nutritional gaps in your diet. Like I was showing you guys, you take two capsules and that's it. There's no artificial colorants or ingredients. You know exactly what is going into your body because you can see everything right inside of there. So the capsule that these come in is a no nausea capsule. So a lot of vitamins, you take them and it makes you sick to your stomach if you don't have food. These don't do that and that is amazing. The Ritual vitamins are vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, sugar free, and allergen free. So Ritual searched the globe for the best ingredients. They are very transparent about where all of their ingredients are sourced from and the bottles are made from 100% recycled material. Also offer a men's multivitamin, a prenatal, a postnatal, a 50 plus vitamin, and also teen vitamins. Ritual vitamins are delivered straight to your door. It equals out to a dollar a day to have nine high quality nutrients that your body needs on a daily basis. Better health definitely does not happen overnight, but Ritual is offering y'all 10% off your first three months right now with my code. So just go to ritual.com slash Casper, use the code Casper at checkout. You guys will get that discount. I will have all the info linked below for you guys, of course. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this chicken in the oven, get it all prepped and ready in the oven. It's like a slow cooked deal in the oven. It's gonna cook all day in the Dutch oven, in the oven. So we need to get that all prepped and ready. I'm also gonna do some Thanksgiving prep today. Thanksgiving is next week. And well, by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be Thanksgiving. So I need to make my menu, my meal plan for Thanksgiving, my grocery list for Thanksgiving, and I need to go get my groceries. I'm probably gonna do that um, this weekend, but I'm gonna get everything planned out today. So I'll show you guys that too. So let's get to cooking, cleaning, and prepping for Thanksgiving. All right, so for this slow roasted chicken, I have one whole chicken that was around four pounds. And the first thing that I'm doing is preheating the oven to 200 degrees and then I'm combining a whole bunch of ingredients that we're gonna rub all over the chicken. So I'm doing eight cloves of garlic. Four of them are minced. I just have this pre-minced garlic, so I'm putting some of that into the bowl. Um, a teaspoon of fresh thyme chopped up, a teaspoon of fresh rosemary chopped, a teaspoon of basil, which I actually didn't have, so I did not put that in, a tablespoon of virgin coconut oil at room temperature, two teaspoons of pink Himalayan salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, a teaspoon of grated lemon zest, and then I'm also adding in some butter too, um, just for some more flavor.
Once I have all of that mixed up, I am chopping up the lemon because half of that is gonna go inside the chicken. And then I'm quartering up an onion because some of that is gonna go inside the chicken and then the rest of it will go around the chicken before it goes in the oven. So then I'm gonna put the chicken breast side up in a large Dutch oven or if you have a heavy pot of some sort that you can use. And then I'm gonna rub the paste all over the chicken making sure to get it up under the skin as well. And then like I said, in the cavity of the chicken, we're gonna put a quarter of the onion, half the lemon, and then two cloves of garlic. And then one sprig of thyme and rosemary on top. I did a little bit more for more flavor and it was super good. And then I'm gonna drizzle two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar right on top. So then you're gonna put the lid on and pop it in the oven for about nine hours. And then the last 10 minutes, you're gonna take the lid off, bump the temp up to 425, and then roast the chicken for 10 minutes and that'll just get the skin kind of crispy and golden. All right, now that that chicken is in the oven, I am going to get my mess cleaned up off of the island from prepping all of that. And then we're gonna do some Thanksgiving prepping like I was telling you guys earlier. I am going to work on my menu, just a kind of a rough draft of what I'm gonna be doing for Thanksgiving just so I can get an idea of what I need to shop for over the weekend. All right, I've got my Thanksgiving prep kind of in order, so I will tweak that a little bit before I go shopping. But now let's move on into the cleaning portion of this video. I'm just starting off in my dining room and I'm gonna wipe down my buffet. This area tends to get pretty dusty, so I am just gonna take a cleaning rag and some multi-surface cleaner and just wipe down the surfaces right here. And then I'm gonna clean off my dining room table and wipe that down too. And I'm just taking some of these picture frames down off of this little ledge shelf that we have in the dining room and I'm gonna dust this off. Now we're gonna head into the living room, give Kashi some loves first, and then I'm just gonna wipe down the coffee table and my TV stand. The bottom shelf on the TV stand, I seriously have to dust it off, wipe it off, 
every single day just because it's white and it's low to the ground right next to where Cash likes to lay. So it gets, it collects dog hair and dust and I, I constantly have to wipe that down. So I'm just gonna use some Mrs. Myers. I still have the rose scent from Grove Collaborative. Um, I never ended up getting any of the fall scents, but I kind of want to get some before fall is officially over and then also get some of the winter scents. They're so good. Now I am busting out my big vacuum. I have an upright shark vacuum that I absolutely love and I'm always switching up which vacuum I am using, but today I am using my shark apex. So I am just gonna vacuum off Cash's bed. This is another thing that I do almost every day. He sheds so bad no matter what. It's not as bad as it used to be, but um, definitely have to do lots of vacuuming in my house with the kids and our black lab and our cat too. He has black and white hair, so the pet hair. But this vacuum is really great for the pet hair, I will tell you that. So I vacuumed off his bed and now I'm just gonna vacuum the rug. Once I'm done vacuuming in the living room, I'm just going to finish up vacuuming the whole main living area of the house. I'll be yours if you let me, let me hold you tight, but I don't know if you let me in, yeah. I know you had your heart broken one too many times, and now it's hard for you to open up. They have been cruel to you. Saying things they don't mean, they've been rude to you. Disrespect how you feel, but baby, I never go that far. Cause I know better than that. So baby, now we are headed into the boys' bedroom, and they have been doing such a great job of keeping their room clean. We recently redid the chore chart and their allowance money for the end of the week, and they have been doing so so great i'm so proud of them for keeping up with all their chores and especially keeping their room clean and organized so i'm really just going in here to wipe down their desk and put some books away and then straighten up their beds a little bit just so that way i can vacuum but they were at my mom's house doing a thanksgiving craft with her while i was getting this video filmed so i was able to get in there and just straighten it up a little more for them and it was so cute when they got home from my mom's they thanked me for vacuuming and picking up their room some more but they've been doing such a good job at keeping it clean. Okay, well I'm gonna take a little filming break and go pick up some lunch. I just called and ordered a salad from my favorite restaurant. So I'm gonna run and grab that real quick. It is one o'clock now and I think all I have left to do is to pick up Berkeley's room and my bedroom and then do some laundry. So let's go get my lunch. Johnny called me, he's like, hey, I'm off early. Do you want me to get you a salad from Love Love? I was like, I'm literally walking out the door to go pick up my love love that I just ordered. So maybe I'll see you there. Well, would you look who it is? We literally got here at the same time. He could have just picked up my food for me. <laughs> so I've got sushi, grilled chicken, salad, and then this dressing, but this dressing is so good. So, so good. I don't know how to describe the flavor to you guys. It's just yummy. Bomb. <laughs> it's kind of like a peanut, peanut sauce. It's like a teriyaki, like there's teriyaki sauce in it, I know that. So good. 
So now that I'm done with my amazing, delicious lunch, I'm gonna head into Berkeley's room and I had a no idea, but that little girl had shoved all of these babies and stuffed animals and toys under her bed. <laughs> um, talking about the boys keeping their room clean and then I go in her room and it was a mess under her bed, but I thought it was pretty funny. So I am just gonna get all of her stuff put away, make her bed and vacuum in here. All right, once I am done vacuuming the kitchen, I'm gonna head into my bedroom and get my bed made and then vacuum in here as well. You guys, look at my poor fiddle leaf fig over there in the corner. He's officially dead. I feel so bad. I tried so hard to make sure that he was thriving and both of my fiddles just did not make it. They they just didn't. Uh, all of my other house plants are thriving and have done so well and I've kept them alive and they're doing amazing, but the fiddles, they're just, I don't know, they're so finicky. They just did not survive. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that one there in the corner and maybe figure out another plant that will do better in my house. Okay, now I'm just giving you a quick little shot up close of the bathroom floor. It's really hard to tell in cleaning videos what is actually on the surfaces of the things that we are cleaning. Sometimes it looks like we're cleaning a clean house. So sometimes I like to show you guys those up close and personal shots, but a white tile bathroom floor with a black lab and a black and white cat and kids and just all of the life things, it shows absolutely everything so I pretty much have to come in here and vacuum every day as well so once I am done vacuuming in my bathroom I am just going to put together a baby shower gift for one of my girlfriends that is having a baby soon she's having a baby shower so I was just getting that gift put together and now I am going to tackle this side of my bedroom all of the Christmas decor down there in the corner is gonna stay right there because I'm gonna be decorating for Christmas in just a few days so I've kind of been accumulating it cut just a couple of new things to add to my collection and they're just sitting right there until we pull all of the other Christmas decor out of the attic but basically I am just going to get all of this pile of clean clothes off of the floor sort them out put them away and get everything hung up
I had full intentions on mopping the whole house in this video, but my girlfriend Danielle went live on Instagram and I was watching it, so I had my AirPods in. You guys probably saw me watching it when I was doing that laundry. And then she asked me to join her and so I went live on Instagram with her for like the last hour and now we gotta go pick up the kids. So <laughs> I'm not gonna be mopping in this video, just keeping it real with you guys. I decided to hang out with my friend and you guys that were on Instagram with us instead of mopping. So I'll probably mop tomorrow morning because this part of the floor right here by the back door, um, I don't know if you guys could even see it. Our floor honestly hides everything so well. You can kind of maybe see the dog footprints in the sunlight right there or the daylight right there so i will mop that tomorrow but you guys it smells so stinking good in here this chicken has been cooking all day but we are gonna go get the kids so i will keep you guys posted on dinner it smells you guys i wish you could smell my house right now it is incredible it smells so good so we're gonna go pick up the kids they actually my mom picked them up and they went to the library today and then she just ended up taking them back to her house and they were working on a Thanksgiving craft. And then um, we're gonna go get them. So it gave me a chance to film this video today. All right, so I just have some broccoli and carrots going, some olive oil, uh, garlic salt, onion powder, and pepper. And then I chopped up some potatoes. Woo! Chopped up some potatoes, cooking those in some butter with some onion, garlic, pepper, and then Italian seasoning. I actually need to stir the garlic in. I just stuck it in there. I'm gonna put the lid on them. It just makes them cook up a little faster. I took the lid off of the Dutch oven. It's been in there all day. We turned it off when we went to go get the kids, but I left it in the oven. I just didn't want the oven on while we were gone. So I left it in with the lid on so it would still like cook because it's in like a Dutch oven or whatever. Um, I really need to clean my oven looks gross but it's in there still with the lid off you're supposed to cook it with the lid off for 10 minutes um oh my lanta oh it's gonna fog up from the heat but yes it looks so good you guys that is going to wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you are new i hope this gave you some motivation to get some cleaning tackled in your house even if it's something super basic it just feels good to feel accomplished when you get a task like that done also don't forget to check out the description box you guys can check out ritual vitamins don't forget to use my discount code everybody loves a discount so i will see you guys in my next video bye